Welcome to the daily insights that matter. SEBI has taken big strides to protect investors and in this regard has approved changes in the governance of mutual funds, brokerages and alternative investment funds. Let's discuss this. The first major reform taken by SEBI is towards safeguarding client funds lying with brokers in the case of ASBA or application supported by blocked amount facility. This would be optional for the secondary market and it also approved daily upstreaming of client funds. This means that investors can park their money directly with clearing corporations and even earn interest for that short period which brokers were entitled to earlier. The second is SEBI has brought mandatory assurance in ESG disclosures which is environmental, social and governance disclosures through a set of 49 parameters with the introduction of the Business Responsibility and Sustainability Reporting Core. This will ideally be applied to the top 250 listed companies from next year. The next reform is introduced by SEBI is to get all index providers under its purview. This means any index where the local investors park their money must be registered with SEBI. For example, if global index providers such as MSCI or FTSE don't register with the SEBI, domestic asset managers will not be allowed to use them as benchmarks. The fourth reform is regarding IPOs. SEBI has allowed hard underwriting for IPOs. This means that the risk of being undersubscribed will be lower as the underwriters will take most of the risk and make sure the IPO sails through. Now just because the IPO process becomes guaranteed, it may not translate into better stock performance. After listing, the risks will be the same like any other company. The last and the most important reform was the creation of a backstop emergency fund of Rs 33,000 crore for debt mutual funds to help instill confidence in the investors in the corporate bond market and also to enhance the secondary market liquidity. The initial corpus would be contributed by AMCs and the rest would be borrowed from the market as and when required. SEBI's sole motive is to manage and regulate the securities market while also protecting the interest of investors. Earlier, SEBI took steps to protect client securities but now they've gone a step further and are also protecting investors' cash. The reforms introduced were being welcomed by investors and will likely ensure zero systematic risk. Equity Capital Market Activity or rather equity fundraising for fiscal year 23 fell more than 50% as compared to the fiscal year 22 amid huge volatility in the markets. Let's discuss this. Equity fundraising which includes different categories like IPO, FPO, off of a sale, QIP or qualified institutional placements and real estate investment trusts together fell to 56% in the fiscal year 23 as compared to fiscal year 22. When we look at the breakup, IPOs fell 52%. It recorded 54,344 crores in fiscal year 23 out of which more than 20,000 crore was with the amount raised from the LIC IPO alone. Although it dropped, it is the third highest in terms of IPO fund raise till date. Funds raised via OFS known as off of a sale which usually is the promoter selling their stake during the IPO process fell 23% and the funds raised by QIPs which are qualified institutional placements fell 67% and recorded the lowest in the last 10 years. In terms of REITs and infrastructure investment trust this attributed the biggest fall of 92%. The huge drop in the fundraising can be attributed to the current market volatility which has resulted from the geopolitical tensions, inflationary environment, global recession and ongoing interest rate hikes. The markets are still weak due to a combination of domestic and foreign factors. Hence, fundraising activity is likely to remain muted for the first few quarters going ahead. So what does all of these news mean for you? The reforms are a positive change towards the capital markets and are applauded by investors. This also ensures the risk is minimized to a great extent. This will have a direct positive impact on you. Amid the market uncertainty, there has been concern about the fundraising. Once the market stabilizes, we could likely see a rebound in the fundraises. 
Despite this, the pipeline looks strong in the IPO market with more than 50 companies coming in the fiscal year 24. This will have an indirect neutral impact on you. While I say this, this is me Rahil Hassan signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app Informed Investor to watch more such informative and interesting videos.